A man convicted of pocketing millions of your tax dollars is on the run tonight to avoid paying the price. 7 Action News reporter Anne Marie Laflame is on the hunt for Detroit's most wanted. It was Medicare fraud Zaya Hassan was found guilty of in 2015. But it's the cash and connections that has the U.S. Marshals worried of what he'll do next. Hassan was a, a certified physical therapist. He ran a business out of Inkster, Michigan, and the whole thing was fraud related. He was in cahoots with the doctors, the patients. They defrauded the government out of millions of dollars. Convicted of stealing more than $4.4 million, it was sentencing day when the 51-year-old father took off. Lo and behold, the day of his sentencing, we get an alert um, that this guy's trying to get into Mexico and he's refused by the Mexican authorities. Deputy U.S. Marshal Aaron Garcia says Mexican authorities took Zaya Hassan's passport, but that didn't stop him from getting another. He went to Chicago after the fact and received a new Pakistani passport at the embassy for him and his family members. Garcia says that family put everything up for sale. Kids toys, clothes, furniture, Everything has been sold on Craigslist. All they're taking is cash. Obviously, they're looking to get out of town. And the marshals need your help catching him before they do. Zaya Hassan is 5'8", 180 pounds, with connections to the Inkster, Canton, Dearborn area, New York City, and the FBI believes he's traveled under the radar via a mosque in Canton. They stole millions of dollars from your tax dollars, the federal government. He has access to a large amount of money, um, is what, what we know. If you have any information where Hassan is, call the U.S. Marshals at 313-234-5656. There is a reward for information leading to his arrest, and the reward was just increased for Derek Bell. He's accused of leading that sex trafficking ring at the Victory Inn. The U.S. Marshals want to stress just how dangerous this man is. They believe he is still here in Detroit. I'm Anne-Marie Laflame, 7 Action News. A sex 